Hello folks, it's Daniel here. And today I'm going to be talking about a brand new feature that's coming to Photoshop. It's the new remove tool. And it's vastly different to any other tool that we've probably used in Photoshop um, over and above the common spot healing brush tool. And today I'm gonna show you the differences between the spot healing brush tool and the new remove tool. The new remove tool is actually right underneath the spot healing brush tool. Uh, you may not see it in your current version of Photoshop because I have the beta version of Photoshop installed on my computer right now. Uh, but that doesn't stop you from going to try it out yourselves. The beta version of Photoshop is actually available in the clouds app. Okay, so we're gonna pop over to our Creative Cloud desktop application and we're gonna be scrolling down to where it says beta apps. And inside the beta apps option, you're gonna find all of the beta versions of software that Adobe have got available right now. Okay, so in your list, you'll have install Photoshop beta. Mine's already installed, it's right over here and it's up to date. And what we're going to do is we're gonna head straight over to Photoshop beta, okay? Now in this Photoshop beta, I have an image of this lovely brother and sister. And of course, <laughs> I can't believe it, these guys have got clothing on that I would never recommend uh, to a shoot, okay? I hate things that's got logos on and writing on and pictures on, it's just a no-go for me. But we've photographed this family for years, we've always made our recommendations to them, and it's just one of those families that always just turns up with something that's just slightly out of kilter to what I usually like, okay? And you'll recognize this brother and sister from the tutorial, of a family portrait where they're all sitting on that bench. And I had something similar at the time in terms of colors and patterns going askew. And I kind of changed thing and I changed things then. And I'm gonna change things now as well. What I'm going to do is try to remove this Just Do It logo, this Nike logo. You know, I'm not doing a, a, a fashion shoot for Nike here. And I'm not doing an Easter bunny shoot either here, okay? So I'm gonna try to attempt to remove both the writing here and the bunny off of her shirt. Now, what I've done here is I've created two layers in Photoshop. The one layer, I'm gonna demonstrate how the results turn out with the regular, uh, let's have a look here, the regular spot healing brush tool. And in fact, we're gonna do that now. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to try to remove these in one single strokes to make the game fair here, okay? I want to remove this Just Do It logo from his t-shirt. So with this upper layer selected, I'm gonna go over to the regular spot healing brush tool and I'm just gonna paint over this Just Do It, okay? Just don't do it this time. <laughs> just don't wear this to my shoots, okay? <laughs> uh, they're just trying to rile me up here, guys. They're trying to make me angry. So like, I think we're gonna tease down and just put logos on, wear logos to our shoot. Right, Just Do It. And let's just be fair here. I'm gonna leave those results as they are. And I'm just gonna continue going down the bottom here. Okay, I wanna do these in single strokes so you can actually see the difference here, okay? Right, let's stop right there. That's the result that we would get by just painting with the spot healing brush tool. Now, let's move over. Let's just switch this upper layer off. I'm going to switch down to this layer one over here. And on this layer, I'm going to use the remove tool. Okay, now on the top here, uh, just leave everything as default. I've got to remove after each stroke. Okay, so in other words, if I paint and I let go, uh, it's, it's going to do its thing, and then I need to stroke again for it to carry on. Anyway, let's do this. And you're gonna see something different here. The color of this paintbrush is a bit different. The spot hitting brush tool was this kind of black color, or grayish color, and this one is like this purple color. So I'm just gonna, Get in there nice and tight and just kind of really just liberally just paint over the just do it logo here. Just don't do it. <laughs> don't turn up with logos on your clothes, guys. Right. Boom. Look at that. Okay. Not perfect, but it's getting better. Okay, wait for it. Look at that, folks. Other than that little glitch over there, I would say 
that the remove tool has done a vastly better job than the spot healing brush tool. This is spot healing brush tool, things all over the place here. It definitely didn't respect the edge of the upper arm over here, but the remove tool definitely did. Now here's the great thing about this renew, uh, remove tool. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is working on some kind of AI technology here because if you repaint over these areas, it actually does a better job. So let's see if we can fix this little edge here. Look at that, okay? It's, it, it knows what to actually place in there and it knows what it should be doing there. Likewise, if I paint over these areas again, it's gonna ultimately get better, okay? Look at that, okay? That's vastly better. It's not perfect yet, but I can, I can fix up some of the inconsistencies of those tonalities just with a simple brush over with the frequency separation action. Right, let's move on to something a little bit more technical here. That did okay, but not perfect, but the remove tool did an absolutely fantastic job. Let's challenge this a little bit more. Okay, activate that upper layer and let's try out the spot healing brush tool. And just remember, I've got content aware active here. Right, so brush over these little blue leaves over here. Okay, leave that right there. Turn that off and let's go and try the remove tool with exactly the same thing. Okay, I'm gonna paint over it exactly the same. Look at that. That's massively different, okay? This is gonna be an absolute time saver when, to, when we want to remove these things, okay? And what's great is that you can actually touch that area again and it kind of does this magic, all right? Let's push this to the nth degree here. I'm pretty sure if I go to this upper layer here and try and use the spot healing brush tool to get rid of this, these, these little flowers and leaves at the bottom here, it's not gonna perform really good, okay? Let's, let's go in there and get rid of that little area. And look at that, okay? That's pretty messy, all right? That's gonna take a lot of work there. But with the remove tool, let's do this again here. Let's have a look here. Gonna go in there and just liberally paint over that area. Kind of the same way as I did before. Look at that. That is just absolutely awesome, okay? Go back here, look at the result of the spot healing brush tool with content aware. I don't know what content it's been aware of because that's definitely not aware of anything, just a mush, but the remove tool is a lot more content away friendly, I'd say, but that is doing a fantastic job. And I, th and I mean, you can kind of go over those areas again and just spot it again, and it's gonna change it up and make it even better each with each stroke, okay? And I mean, this is early access stuff. It can only get better from here, all right? So far, this is doing a friggin' magical job at removing very complex situations, okay? or not situations, uh, getting rid of objects in complex situations like this. Okay, let's, let's push this now even further, okay? What I'm gonna do is, again, with the remove tool, just take away those little butterflies. Okay, there we go. And I'm gonna see if I can actually get rid of the bunny. Now, before I do that, let's try and see what the spot healing brush tool is going to do in this case. Right, spot healing brush tool right here at the top. Okay, I mean, to be fair, the butterflies are simple to get rid of with this spot healing brush tool. But let's say, how do you do to the whole bunny? Okay, that is a bit messy if you ask me. But let's see how much better the remove tool is gonna to be. Now I've only painted it down to the edge here because I, I, I can't imagine it trying to really understand that edge of the hand there at all, okay? I mean, let's try, even if we did that. That's just a mess there, all right? So let's ignore the spot healing brush tool. It, it just can't figure that out over there, all right? Let's turn that off. Go back down to this underlying layer and turn off our, oh, turn on our remove tool right here. And let's see what it's gonna do with the upper part of the bunny here. I'm gonna just go for this little area here. I'm gonna take the head off first of all. I'm 
Look at that. That's absolutely marvelous, okay? And I can keep painting over those little areas there, all right? Now, let's see if we can take away the bottom half here. Okay. That is absolutely marvelous. And like I said, every time we take a stroke to the uh, uh, to the canvas here, it, it sort of analyzes what is there and changes it or alters it accordingly. All right. So I'm really just breaking away the rabbit into little pieces here. All right. So let's go again. Remove tool. Let's see if we can get in a little bit closer. Oh, wow. That is just mind-blowing, guys. That is just something else, okay? Wow. All right. Let's see. This last little bit of this rabbit here is going to do what? I'm going to actually touch the hand now. Let's see if it respects the edges of her hand. If it does that, I'm going to jump for joy. Wow, okay, not perfect, but watch this. It's rebuilding it. Like I said, I'm pretty sure this is basing itself on some kind of AI technology to rebuild those areas, but that is absolutely brilliant, guys. I mean, I could come in here and still use my other tools, like the clone stamp tool, and I could clone stamp tool into that edge there. But this tool did a pretty darn good job. And for it being in a beta version, that is absolutely marvelous. Let's have a look at the before results with our clone stamp tool, or rather our, our spot hitting brush tool. Not clone stamp, uh, but our spot hitting brush tool. That's the results of spot hitting brush versus the results that we're getting with the remove tool. The remove tool is most certainly a very intelligent tool at the core. And I'm pretty sure this is basing itself on some kind of AI technology to be able to fill in those areas conveniently. And I mean, with the rush of AI technology out in the market, it wouldn't surprise me at all. Let's see what else we can do with this tool while we're at it. There's a little bit of a bright spot there on her hair. Let's see if I use the remove tool to remove that spot of light there. Wow, look at that. And um, you know, I'll, I'll continue to stroke over it with a brush and it's working itself. It's working out what it should put there. This is gonna be absolutely brilliant for the removal of flyaway hairs. Look at that. That's just mental, guys. Don't you agree? I mean, I'm going in there at a rapid pace, removing flyaway hairs. This is a game changer, guys. Honestly, I mean, uh, this is the first time I'm actually trying this on on flyaway hairs. That is just absolutely insane. Okay, wow. Okay, <laughs> this is just coming over to those little flyaway hairs, like this little piece over here, for example. Okay, I know if I was using anything like the spot hitting brush tool, that's not going to figure that out. But let's see what this does. Wow. Brush over that. Okay. And I mean, I'm not, I'm not really taking my time here, guys. I'm just messing around. Okay, that's pretty straight there. To be, to be fair, I could probably use the, the liquify tool just to reshape that. But I could hit it there. There we go. Job done. Okay. Now you know. Obviously, if I took my time, I could really go in with a smaller brush there and change the sensitivity of the brush uh, for smaller or, or larger strokes. But I'm just really just getting aggressive here and going all in. And it's doing a pretty darn good job. And like I said, this is in its infancy, to be honest, and it can only get better from here. And I mean, I'm just doing this really, really quickly and it's intelligently filling in what it thinks should be there. I mean, like that little area there, you know, just, Let's fix up the hair there a little bit, change it, what change the look of it. But that is pretty, pretty darn awesome. So folks, I hope this has been informative today and you get 
as much joy out of the removal tool <laughs> as I have in this case here by cleaning up the mess and logos on their t-shirts, uh, you're going to find it being a super useful tool going forward. And I hope they get this released out very quickly uh, into the public released version. And, you know, obviously all those little niggles that we currently have with it are worked out. And this is just going to be a magnificent tool to work with. Right, folks, thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. And we'll see you in the next session. Cheers for now.